the onomatopoeia of the sound made by a pistol when it fires. If, by any chance, engaging in an armed or unarmed combat would hypothetically result in an outcome in which you drive victorious, then, through deduction and common sense, the conclusion is that you must engage in the aforementioned conflict. The previous statement was originally recited by the Chinese war general and philosopher of the Eastern Zhu period known as Sun Tzu, and upon closer analysis of the current situation, I have now come to the conclusion that he possesses more extensive knowledge on the subject compared to you, person with a degree of familiarity somewhere between acquaintance and friend, precisely as a result of the fact that he is the inventor of fighting. Not only did he invent the idea and action of combat, but he also raised the skill ceiling to such a high level so that he could be sure that no other person currently alive at the same time as him could have had the ability to beat him and take his place as the person of most power. Fellow person that engages in many types of combat activities, as I have to warn you about a danger that happens to be in your vicinity, I must mention the general position of said danger. I now urge you to imagine looking down at yourself from above and to think that your body is the center of a compass in such a way that the direction of your now empty body's eyes are currently concentrated at would be the cardinal point of north, and the opposite of that would be the south. Now, by this logic, Please turn your attention towards the cardinal point of west to observe the aforementioned danger. Larvae of Brachycera flies. I congratulate you on the skillful and precise shot you have taken on the enemy. I hereby repeat three times the fact that you must advance in order to emphasize the urgency of the situation. Then, the war general used the monetary units he gained from engaging in physical fights to purchase not one, but two of every species that exists on our planet. After that, he collectively moved all of them onto a vessel created for aquatic transportation, only to then physically hurt the creatures in such a manner that many, if not most of them, were left in a state of absence of consciousness, or even a cessation of all vital functions. I attract your attention upon my person, human that takes part in skirmishes between two or more groups as it appears that situated beyond this very fence is a stationary automatic device used for targeting and precisely shooting members of our team until death. Ever since that interval of time that the planet we are currently on takes to complete a full rotation around its own axis, I say that indifferent of time, when you individuals I am currently addressing as being part of the multicellular eukaryotic organisms that form the biological kingdom animal are collectively present in a limited and finite area, that area's name will be deemed to be the same as the place in which many rare species of animals are located for the viewing pleasure of fellow humans. The previous statement shall only apply as long as the area you are in is not considered to be used for controlled growth and birth of animals for the purpose of consuming them or their byproducts.